Hmm. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is Calcat the Calcatter, and uh, yeah, since uh, lower uh, not lower decks, since uh, Prodigy is in hiatus until January, they're airing Star Trek Discovery until until then. So we have uh, until uh, yeah. So uh, this is a review of Discovery uh, episode season four episode two anomaly. Hmm. I like to say it was less a silly Trek episode, but it actually is more, just because it's the Pine Hill side of the celebrity. To explain this, um, Pine Hill students tend to have anxiety and be depressed, so, so, so some of them do, some of them are like that. So, uh, yeah, this episode was about being a, being a space anxiety. Uh, secret hideout and, uh, Kurtzman is just a producer on this and somebody else is directing them. Um, the idea of yet another universe ripping anomaly they can't explain. Well, anomaly is something you can't explain, which is funny. An unexplainable anomaly would be a an oxymoron. It, it's an anomaly. It's anomalous. That's a Greek anomalous. You don't know what it is. That's what it means. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, it's an anomaly. So it's called anomaly. Um, they try to go to the anomaly and to probe through it. And, uh, and, uh, and they send Booker's ship with a hollow of the other. They introduce holograms and holodeck and stuff. Because it's the future. Uh, they also reference Star Trek Picard at 800 years later. It's about 788 years later, but let's say 800 years. They round it up. Uh, Soon type synth android. They're going to build an android body for dolls. Uh, Tal's girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, never quite too clear on that, um, but yeah, they're going to build a robot. Um, a bit of a big deal about this character being, being, and him being uh, gender fluid, but she's playing a girl character, and he's playing a boy character. So they may be gender fluid, but they're not addressing it. And they killed the boy character when they introduced him last season. He's dead, and, and he's carrying the essence of himself in her as a, as a symbiote, like a trill, part part trill, part human. And so they killed the gay right away. So they did that right away. Um, but he wasn't though, because he was technically straight if he was dating the girl. So that's kind of confusing. Um, yeah, it's like, uh, but then they can bring him back you know, as a robot. They mentioned hollows. They sent a hollow of stamets. It, when Booker shipped to find the anomaly, you know he wasn't gonna die. Um, <laughs> and um, and the uh, the captain lady is talking through it, and uh, Saru reappears as the co-captain. Pretty silly trick. Uh, yeah, and uh, he's still there, and uh, you technically outranks her, but thankfully the president guy uh, lady is uh, not in this episode. She was just on the ship the whole time. That would be stupid. I discovered at the end of the episode that it was unpredictable. That the anomaly was changing course, size, um, which they could figure out if space was space. And they were analyzing it. But it is an anomaly. So, so I'm guessing that the uh, anomaly is some sort of Q thing. It has nothing to do with the... Uh, Some kind of Q thing. It's probably the Nexus ribbon. It's probably not the Nexus ribbon because that is predictable. Every 34 years, it had it had it would return to that part of the galaxy, uh, making it sound like that that particular thing was um, uh, only in an orbit around roughly that of uh, Earth to Saturn. Pretty close by, in the so within a solar system of something. And they're quite too clear on stuff like that in Star Trek. Um, they, they never really, yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> um, oh my god, there's a kitty, anyway, so, uh, yeah, anomaly, um, basic Star Trek scary episode, oh, they turned the gravity off a few times, had them float up and float down, they actually used some kind of, um, well, if they're using the green screen technology, probably what they did is they just 
put the actors on wires and threw them up there and then threw them down. That's probably what they did on trampolines and then deleted the green, the green screen of the trampolines around. Yeah, so, um, also the, the interactions are back to being kind of what they were last season, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Um, but yeah, the, um, you knew it wasn't to last. She was all, they were all hopeful and stuff. It's odd that stuff keeps happening to them all the time, but if they are Cillians in a Pine Hill story, bad things would happen to them all the time. Because that's the nature of uh, on-location Valley stories, on-location Pine Hill, uh, and all that, and silly, and Starship locations. Good things happen, bad things happen, good things happen, bad things happen. But in the Silly Track version, uh, no one really is ever really gone. They can make people come back. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, Thanksgiving evening, uh, watching Star Trek, um, yeah, um, so, anyway, uh, yeah, it's a review of an anomaly, it's fine, I guess, um, hmm, the, uh, uh Saru being Mr. Saru is kind of like Spock, I guess, um, sure, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>